Hey guys, welcome into the garage for the inaugural paint booth use. We're going to paint something for the first time with it today here in a few minutes. Uh, I did, however, I did uh, pick up a light for the paint booth, the paint booth light. But unfortunately, I forgot to get the batteries for it. And I don't have enough double A's here at the house to use. So I need to go back to the store and get some more double A's for it. It takes six of these. This one I could come up with. It was like $9 at um, Walmart, four LEDs. Uh, bright white. They had a smaller one that had two LEDs in it, but it was more of a soft light. I don't like soft light. Uh, soft light's that more yellow looking, uh, more yellowish uh, uh, temperature. Light. I'm not a big fan of that. So this one, the bigger one, was more uh, of a whiter white. I hope that's what it will be. We'll find out. Uh, unfortunately, couldn't find anything else uh, that was something like this, kind of small, compact, that was also uh, plug style. Everything that was plug style was going to be much, much bigger or more like uh, or even the, some of the work lights and stuff. So this is what I came up with. This is kind of one of those one, one that you can just stick anywhere that you need some extra light. Be nice little stick right up here out of the way uh, which means hopefully it won't get covered in paint or over a whole lot of overspray or anything. So be interested to see how it's going to work once I get some more batteries for it. And you can mount it. You have your mounting options. You can mount it with screws or you can mount it with the, the adhesives that it comes with. So I'll be probably going with the adhesives because it's, it's thin metal, thin aluminum. I don't really want to have the screws protruding out to the top. So I think I'm going to have to go with the adhesives for the time being. Probably asking about the light there. Yes, I do have a light in there. I had just happened to have this. It's a little uh, multi-light. Uh, it moves around. You can do things. And it has a, uh, it has a light on the end. That uh, has a light there. Also cool, it has a magnetic base on it, which is really cool. So you can just mount it anywhere you want. Problem with this light is, like you can see, the only way to get it centered, which I, like, I want the light centered, is going to be right there. That's, and I know I'm going to, I'd probably hit that. I know me, I would hit that, knock it down. It'll probably get covered in paint or overspray. And I mean, not to the side, it'll work. It'll be light, but I kind of want it over, you know, want the light center. But again, this will work for the time being until I get batteries for the big one. I do like it. So that is the temporary light for the paint booth. So with that, let's, uh, we're going to try painting a little engine. Uh, for, try painting an engine here. Well, it's all a little. We're painting 120, we're 124th scale, 125th scale builders. Everything is little. I don't know why I said little engine. And then try painting an engine here. So let's get it set up and try it out. All right, so there we go. The first painting has been done with the new paint booth. I'm excited to get some more things painted. Uh, the next, the first body I paint next, well, I'll do a video on uh, painting the first body with this new uh, paint booth. So yeah, that'll give a good idea how it's really going to perform uh, with that amount of paint being used. Obviously, what I was painting, I wasn't, wasn't using a whole lot of paint or anything, so it doesn't give a good idea how well it works. But when I, but I think painting a body will definitely give a, give us a good idea of just how well it really works for those of you that are curious about this. So until the next body painting video, thank you guys for watching. See you next time.